Good morning, friends. Today, we are going to read a story that relates to the things that we have planted recently. Now, cool thing is that the EBA garden at our school, Escalante Biggs Academy, will be having a planting day too. So I'll be planting with Miss Kelsey from Big Green and we'll be making sure that those beautiful seeds go into the soil. And then we can find friends who would like to water during the summer so that yummy food will be growing all throughout the summer. Awesome. But now it's time for us to read Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt by Kate Messner and with art by Christopher Silas Neal. Those are some pretty cool pictures. So let's start. Oh, I can already tell this book is going to be really yummy looking. Up in the garden, I stand and plan. My hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. That's what my garden looks like right now. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud <coughs> sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I, sa I ask. What do you guys think is down there? Hmm. Ooh, I think we've seen some of these before. Caracol, escarabajo, orugas. Umbrices, mariquitas, hormigas, arañas. Down in the dirt is a busy world full of earthworms and insects, digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks scoop rustly armfuls and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. Compost is really, really healthy dirt that makes the soil very happy for seeds to grow. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. I think we've seen these around the school. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Hmm, we've made furrows before when we planted in years past. Hopefully you guys will get to do it again. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout. Pea blossoms bloom. Wasps are on the prowl and honeybees visit. Legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Ooh, what does it look like she's doing? Taking a drink of water. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. Oh, there they are. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana to turns the hose on me. Eee! That water must feel really cold. I hide behind cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. 
I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Mira, ellos, ellos comen los insectitos, los chiquitos que comen los hojas de los plantas como tomates. They eat the leaves that are on plants like tomatoes and kale and other plants. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, and a grub. Slugs are scrumptious, too. They do like to eat some of those bugs. Up in the garden, we pick cukes. Cucumbers. Zucchini harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop down through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time to go to bed. It's going to be what I'll be doing a little bit this summer, too, taking care of our garden. Down in the dirt. Skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Cutworms eat the plants too, just like those aphids. Up in the garden, mira eso, mantis religioso. It's a praying mantis. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh. But, <gasps> snap, someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake <clears throat> crunches on supper. Snakes are really helpful to have in the garden, too. I have some in my garden, but I can never seem to catch them. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. That sounds like a fun idea. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web. It's some tipo de araña. It's a type of spider. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. I like to share with my neighbors, too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow. Ants scurry home. Earthworms curl tight in the dark. I didn't know they could tie themselves up in knots like that. When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble, and the wind smells like winter. But the long, ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. Ladybugs and bumblebees and earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts, under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a new garden sleeps down in the dirt. The end. Wow. So I look forward to seeing what you guys plant. And please do let me know if you need anything. I can bring you seeds. I can bring them to the school for you to pick up can think of all sorts of ideas or just send me an email if you need some ideas 
All right, it was really great to see you today. Thank you for reading this story with me. Goodbye.